we're on the topic of psychology, a lot of my students ask me about medical marijuana cards. Marijuana is legal now here in the state of Illinois. Uh, it's, medical marijuana has been legal here for quite some time, but because it remains federally illegal, there's a lot of information going around saying that you cannot also own a FOID or a concealed carry license if you have a medical marijuana card. Thoughts? My, I have a couple. I, I, in Illinois, there has been there hasn't been any developments yet on both a um, medical marijuana card and a concealed carry license. You can have both as of right now. I want to qualify that as of right now. Now, here's what I do think that you could run into some problems with is the purchase of firearms. Hmm. And with that, and that is because of the federal requirements where you have to sign of the of the are uh, the addiction requirements to the, of the of the of for the federal purchase. You know which one and I'm talking. Do you use any illegal substances? That's exactly correct. I would not want to sign off on that federal af on that federal affidavit knowing that I have a cannabis card and they could and then they, what they consider cannabis. So for anybody who has a medical uh, marijuana card in the state of Illinois. Be weary of filling out the, the forms for when you're purchasing a firearm because technically then it could be considered lying on a federal level. That's correct. I think you might want to hold off on firearm purchases while you're in possession of, an, of a cannabis card. Does that, are you following my advice on that? Yeah, absolutely. So what would the penalties be for somebody like myself, not to say that I have a medical marijuana card, but if, if somebody who has a medical marijuana card filled out a, uh, a form to purchase a firearm, and then somebody investigated it, they saw that they had a medical marijuana license. Uh, what could potentially be some of the, the issues they face? Theoretically, they could, they could face a felony charge for um, perjury or for, 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 the, for the filling out of the false, uh, filling out a false federal, federal firearm transfer form. And then there, whatever firearms... And then, of course, you're looking at forfeiture of all your firearms at that point for a federal firearm, firearms violation. Wow. So be very careful if you have a medical marijuana card when filling out forms for purchasing a firearm. As Dan just said, you might want to hold off a little bit and see how legislation kind of plays out with that because you definitely don't want to be marked as a felon. And again, there, 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 is, there is possible legislation for national legalization of marijuana. So I would just, I wouldn't purchase if you have a card, if you have a medical card. I just hold off on that for a while. That's great information. Now, now, again, you could do it. I, I, I'm, that's my advice right now. Is I wouldn't make a federal. I wouldn't make a, a new purchase. In in a, in a firearm. Right. Okay. So when we talk about, and we're going to talk a little bit more about uh, the usage of alcohol and and drugs when carrying a concealed firearm. Uh, how would it play out if I'm a medical marijuana card holder who's had firearms and a concealed license? Now I get involved in a self-defense uh, uh, scenario and I am using my medication, maybe just 20 minutes ago. Will Illinois, will, will, the, will the law view that as you know, almost voided because you were just using your normal medication or will they view that as under the influence of a controlled substance? As, again, you're, these are, it's all gonna, uh, the question is all going to boil down to the reasonableness of your conduct. Did you, you, the question is, is were you in, uh, the, uh, the, I have the, def, the definition for the, um, for, the, for, the, for the justifiable use of deadly, deadly force. Um, forgive me. I just want to make sure that I say, state it 100% correctly. Only if he reasonably believes that such force is necessary to prevent imminent death or great bodily harm to himself or another. Was your use of deadly force to prevent death or great bodily harm to himself or another? Whether you're stoned or drunk, was it reasonable to believe that death or great bodily harm was imminent to yourself or another? Okay. You, know, I, I, you could have the joint burning in the ashtray. Did the dude come crashing through the door with a sawed-off shotgun, and you tapped him twice in the chest? Mm -hmm. That's completely reasonable with the joint burning in the ashtray. That's good to know. And not that I'm going to be sitting in my I, I with a joint but, in my mouth, I, but, but it makes does that, I don't you know that makes you know, under something you could you could blow bong smoke in his face as you shoot him. It's mm -hmm. completely reasonable. Right, because there's the obvious threat. Exactly.